hello and welcome once again to my youtube channel guys you can't believe that your girl is just homeless <laughs> i am literally homeless yeah you heard me so today i'm filming this video it's a beautiful wednesday morning it's half past three in the afternoon and a girl is homeless i just handed over my flat key to my landlord and i don't have a place to move to guys i'm doing this video and maybe you can learn one or two things from it but the uk is not for the faint-hearted and this mini budget has destroyed like i don't know i don't know but this mini budget and everything concerning this mp and the tory leadership has had a tory leadership on my life goodbye but when will i see you again oh never never Never? Well, maybe someday. When? Tomorrow? Oh, no. <laughs> it has had a, a toll on my life. Like, all jokes aside, if you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Becca. I'm a migrant nurse. I'm originally from Ghana in West Africa. I practice as a registered nurse in the United Kingdom and I live in London. And if you are coming across this video, it's not by accident. But I am homeless. That is the purpose of this video. To tell you what happened. What has happened to me. What has happened to your girl. That has made me homeless. From the background, you can see that my things. If I turn the camera, you see my car. It is full of things. My first batch of things has already moved to the storage. I don't have a place to sleep. I don't have a place to live. I don't have a place to abode in. So moving forward, my car is going to be my bedroom. My car is going to be my friend. My car is going to be my... Listen, at this point, I feel like I want to book an apartment under the London Bridge. I want to sleep under the bridges. <laughs> I may sound funny, but I'm not. Seriously? Anyway, let me give you a little bit of background so that you know what happened from the past two weeks watch this video this is when i started filming this video and i wanted to carry you guys along every single step and i thought initially i thought it was going to be a positive move but unfortunately it ended up being negative and i still intend to film this video so watch hi guys hi guys welcome and welcome once again to another episode here on a girl's youtube channel guys your girl is just about to be homeless you know <laughs> a lot has actually gone on in this past uh, few weeks and months for like UK residents. Let me just clean my camera, guys. For UK residents. <laughs> so as I speak, guys, in seven days only, your girl is about to be homeless. <laughs> I'm going to be sleeping on the streets of London because my rent... Oh, dear. It's girls. Hmm. <laughs> this video choke i don't even know where to start from so i've been living in this flat as you guys know i did um you know a video where i talked about my monthly expenses of how much i spent in london so guys this flat i've been living in for one year my one year rent expired on the 9th of october so this flat i've been living in in my mind i was like okay when the one year you know elapses i'm going to like extend my tenancy and leave him for maybe another six months whilst i sort myself out and you know like a girl has to keep going and also for proximity and everything close to work so i felt like let me just stay in the flat for a while anyway i called my landlord and i told him my intention of like you know staying in the flat and he was like oh yeah you've been a good tenant and we really wish you would stay in the flat for long blah 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 blah, blah because you've really kept the flat very well and that is the that's the like the truth i've kept the flat very well so they arranged for somebody to come and view the flat and everything and this person came to view the flat it's actually like an agent he came to view the flat saw everything and they were happy with it here here So, at that time, I was really contemplating because I felt like that flat was a bit smaller for me now. I needed a bit more space, but I was like, let me just manage and, you know, keep the flat. And then later, like six months time, I'll be in the right space and then I'll get a bigger space. 
this person came to view and went to tell the landlord that Rebecca has really kept the flats very well and you know because of that we feel like the price or the price value should go a bit higher okay I know that every year people do increase their rent so yeah I wasn't really really like I was expecting them to increase so I was like okay so how much is it going for unfortunately for me that same week is when the UK mini budget was introduced and if you've been following the news you guys know that this message or this mini budget was a big brouhaha and as I speak it's still a big brouhaha because things that are happening especially for people residing in London like the price of things and the cost of living has increased exponentially within a short time so my landlord came and then he rang me and told me okay we think we are going to increase your price the price of the flat a little bit and unfortunately for me as i said it's that same week that that mini thing budget whatever came about so i was like okay so how much am i going to pay now and then he has increased the price of the rent 20 percent by 20 percent so let's say if i was paying let's say 500 20 percent of 500 is how much 100 or do the maths i don't know but whatever the price of the house was increased by 20 percent that is how much he's putting on the price of the flat and listen looking at the price like the nature of the flat and the price they were mentioned i felt like ah, 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 kilo ah, ah, my people what happened it's too much so now a girl is about to be homeless i am going on house hunting today is a beautiful sunday everywhere is literally very quiet here in london people are enjoying their weekend instead of me enjoying my weekend and it's my only day off only one day off and tonight i'm going to work instead of me to rest i am going on a house hunting as i speak as i said in a week my rent expires i've already even started packing meanwhile i don't have a destination so guys come with me let's go and house hunt so this video you just watched was last two weeks sunday i was trying to look for an apartment a house to live in this london hmm. funny enough all the house prices have skyrocketed even mortgages mortgage brokers and mortgage dealers have taken their mortgages out of the market it's not a joke so unfortunately for me, I just I just went into that situation, you know. Like I am very unkept, guys. I just woke up. I woke up at 2.45. The person coming to take the keys came at 3 o'clock. So I had 15 minutes. Obviously, they were not rushing me or anything, but time is time. Once we've all agreed on 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock is 3 o'clock. So they had to come and take the inventory for my flat and everything. And then I handed over the keys to them. But before this, I was looking forward to go for house viewing, you know. But in this London, rent and housing is very expensive. And I also have housing specification that I want. I didn't want a flat. I wanted a house. So I wanted to live in a house and preferably to get a garden. Because you guys know that in summer, this country is really, really warm. Especially this year. I don't know what next year is going to be like. But this year, the summer was very hot. Fortunately, I wasn't in this country at that moment. So I couldn't feel the heat. And to live in a flat around that time of the year for me is a no-no. So I wanted a house with a garden so that in such situations I can go and rest in my garden. Guys, as I'm talking to you, I can't find a house of my choice. It's not that there are no houses in London, but there is no house of my choice. So I kept looking and looking. And because I've already given in my notice and told them I wanted to leave the flat, I even requested for an extension of two weeks still to view houses and i've been viewing and the funny thing is when you see the house that you feel like this is the house i want by the time you want to go and view they've booked you for viewing by the time you say okay tomorrow is my viewing they'll call you back and say oh we are so sorry somebody has already taken the flat blah 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 oh, oh we are so sorry like the stories keep coming and coming and coming so guys as it stands now hmm, your sister is homeless okay and i blame all of this on this mini budget and everything because if they hadn't increased my rent by 20 percent i would have still been in my flat i would have still been in my flat 
come rain, come sunshine, because it's now not close to summer. So I could have just stayed in the flat, enjoy the sun, enjoy the coldness a bit. Then when it's about to get to summer, then I can leave. But now. I just feel like filming this video to rant because now I've handed over the keys. Okay, tonight I know I'm going to work because I closed from a shift last night. Tonight I'm going to work. So I have all my uniform and everything at the back. So I'll just freshen up at work and then dress up and work for the night. When I close tomorrow morning, where am I going to stay? Where am I going to stay? I book storage spaces for my things in the storage. My TV is here because I fear that when I put the TV in the storage, the screen will go off and I threw the box of the TV away. So, I have to keep the, the TV in the, in the car. I have put all the seats down. All the seats are literally down. And the things are in the car. Guys, it's not funny. It's not a joke. But anyways, we move. If you come across this video, do well to... If you want to like put in a notice for a housing... At least try to be actively looking for another place. Especially if you live in London where houses are like, by the time you blink an eye, somebody has already gone for the house. By the time Zupla post an advert and say new or just added, by the time you call, you are not the first person to be calling. People have already called, called, called ahead of you. So I just feel like doing this video and advising you. Don't be like me, oh, don't be in my situation now. I don't even know whether I'm going to sleep on the London Bridge. The only advantage I have now is because I'm a ninth nurse, I'm a ninth worker. I will, at, at night, I'll be at work. So there's some safety for me at night. But when I close from work, when I close from work, when I close from work, what happens? Anyway, enough of the runs because I'm already beginning to feel hungry. And I've just come to my regular popular Ghanaian restaurant joint to get some food to eat. It's just half past three after eating. I'll probably sit in the car and eat after eating. I'll just head straight to work, sit around, freshen up, and then wait for my shift at half past seven. Anyway, guys, until we meet again in my next video, is bye.